<laughs> so continuing on our green theme, um, and this is a quick one. Oh no, if this AirPod comes out, it's going to screw up the sound because it shuts off immediately. Okay, I think I still hear you. Good. Um, this, what we've been sitting there staring at, because I made the slide real quick and wrong, I didn't have a break between it, is, you see, this is uh, Zack Snyder. Um, he did a, um, and it was kind of a last minute decision, a, a screening in somewhere in L.A. of Army of the Dead, um, which we mentioned <laughs> earlier. He showed up to give a talk um, at the end of the movie. And... Mm -hmm. As usual, at any time he's anywhere since, I don't know, when did Man of Steel come out? 2015, 2016, something like that. Um, mm, sounds right. He's the face of DC, whether or not Warner Brothers likes it or not. So everyone's been asking about Wayne T. Carr playing Jon Stewart because he looks so perfect for the part. I mean, he okay. looks like he even got the haircut. So everyone's asking Zach about this. And then this exchange, I don't know what led to it. And we're going to get a bit of a low volume context, but just check this out. <clears throat> it's not, it's not our best green. It, it gets louder, of course. So, pre presumably he's scrolling through the photos yeah. on his phone. Yeah, I would love to get right? a hold he's, of his he's phone. He's looking for, he's looking for an image, right? Yeah. That's, it's, it's his personal phone. He's got screen captures and stuff stored mm -hmm. saved on there this was a big surprise what he showed everyone here so what you're looking at there is yeah then people will realize what they're seeing <laughs> that is right. that is post effects done and instead of martian manhunter it was supposed to be john stewart and two other lanterns showed up at his at Bruce yep. Wayne's place at the end of Justice League. <sighs> Boy, and then he also and in yeah. interviews talked about his future plans. The um John there was supposed to be two versions of John Stewart. There was supposed to be John Stewart helping when Darkseid uses the old ways and invades with his armada and the Green Lanterns would help with that. The uh, eventually the whole Green Lantern core in Justice League 3 would show up. Yeah, but you would have tons of Green Lanterns in the big final like mm -hmm. their end game. And then in the nightmare future, uh, John Stewart was uh, kind of like the team scout because um, <clears throat> his power set would probably be one of the only ones him and Martian Manhunters, if Martian Manhunters survived the invasion, his power set would be the right. only one comparable to <clears throat> uh, to Cal els So, oh well, who knows? Zach has still been very positive. He's like, who knows? You know, he's like. They've been he an interview came out since the last episode we recorded where um, Zach said that Warner Brothers has been very anti Snyder, and he said that they've been very much no to any more Snyder verse. <clears throat> he said, but okay. you know what? They said the same thing with the Snyder cut. So who knows? And that's all I got. Those were the big things. I'm sure I'm missing something. Uh, Marvel was actually oh, quiet. I've, I've got a couple. Go ahead. Well, no, I've got a couple of things to add. Although these, um, well, I mean, this this is a piece that came out this week. And as with most scuttlebutt that circulates on blogs and the Twitter sphere, things like that, you always have to take this stuff with a grain of salt. Because you just never know if somebody's just looking to, you know, push a bunch of traffic through their website oh, yeah. uh, or something like that. But um, this is from a blog called that hashtag show. All right. As long as it's uh, not, we I got this covered. Pretty much everything <laughs> we got this covered drops is right. absolute baloney. <clears throat> um, and the author is, um, I guess, this person that runs this uh, hash the hashtag show, um, Nick Santos. Um, I feel like I know who should know who that, that is, sounds but familiar, doesn't um, it? reported that um, after talking to someone with inside knowledge of the show and after seeing some um, promotional art, um, the concept art and some of the artwork and stuff that was um, being produced for the film, that uh, apparently Ghost Rider was going to have a pop up little cameo in Doctor Strange in the Madness Multiverse of Madness. Please be Nick Cage. <laughs> it's not going to be Nick Cage. Ah! Um, it's also so not going to be you know, after, um, what's his name from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. He did a good job. Gabriel Luna? No. Right. Um, yeah, that's right. Um, uh, Gabriel Luna. That's right. I got a name right. Um, who, 
Yeah. Um, who who played the the younger, newer version of Ghost Rider that uh, is more of the, the muscle car instead of a motorcycle. Yeah. Um, He's supposed to be the Johnny second Blaze. Ghost Rider, right? <clears throat> or something like that. It, right. Well, yeah, in, in, in the sort of, you know, popularized in the comics, um, because I think that the whole idea of the Ghost Rider, the Spirit of Vengeance, is supposedly goes back hundreds, if not thousands of years. Oh. Um, but what they said, what they report, and had to kind of vet this a little bit, and I'm pretty sure this is correct. I've seen it that, other places, too. Um, well, um, the rights to the Ghost Rider character reverted back to Marvel. And MCU gobbled that right up, right? Uh, I'm sure they have their hands contractually and they, they have the rights to a, a huge list of characters at this point, right? There's a smaller list of characters that you know are unavailable to them while we all continue to hold our breath and turn 18 shades of blue waiting for the X-Men yeah. and the mutant verse to one day uh, come, come back to MCU. Um, Marvel Studios, but uh, the point here is that they could say, they said with confidence that it's not going to be Nick Cage, that it's not going to be Gabriel Luna, but the version of Ghost Rider would be Johnny Blaze. Oh, cool. So we're going to get another actor playing the Johnny Blaze version of Ghost Rider. I heard another rumor and about for that. for all we know, this is going to be a five-second post-credits scene or a post-post-credits yeah. scene, right? At the end of the movie, where he's going to pop up in some other film, or he'll be uh, some multiverse stuff. Maybe um, it's pretty cool. I heard the rumor um, that um, love... Mads Mikkelsen is has returned to play Casilius again. Oh, that's from Comic Book Now. It's reportedly bringing back Mads Mikkelsen as Casilius again. Take it with a grain of salt. Okay, that would be interesting. I mean, he's right. not dead; he's just trapped in Dormammu's anti-negative universe or whatever so let's just out of curiosity let's just look up dr strange and the multiverse of madness on imdb and see if there's anyone listed in the cast yet again not that this anyone is, can edit know, that the bottom line yep it's like wikipedia um no uh, there is no Ghost Rider listed here but uh and put your um, name in. You know, we're obviously getting Chiwetel Ejiofor, Benedict Wong, Rachel McAdams, Elizabeth Olsen, and The Batch. So, right. um, and it seems like there was one other thing. No, maybe that was it. I think that's all I brought bringing to the table yeah. for good news. So, this movie week. news is 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 keeping us going. Oh.